It's about that time. It is day 21. I got a bunch of fruits. I am going to be carb intaking right now. Um, so I'm very happy and uh, hopefully I get really, really uh, juicy and pumped. Man, I've been waiting for this day, for this moment, for so long. And I'm just finally glad it's here. And I am gonna look insane today, hopefully. That is the goal, it is all carbs and sugar. And then I've, I usually work out in the morning, but um, you know, for the video, decided to do it at night. And I mean, all day I was just kind of like, oh, like, come on. Come on. And of course, I already did abs and cardio in the morning as well. But I am excited. Ooh. It's so good and tasty. Yeah, that one they're looks the best. Dry. You should get that Sometimes one. Sometimes they can be dry, but those are... Yeah, yeah mine, a seed in it. the ones that I got were dry as hell. And I was yeah. pretty pissed off. All I know is that I'm going to get a good sweat. I'm going to get pumped. And then I'm just going to show off all the hard work that I put in. I feel so happy. <laughs> Leading up to like this day or this prep or whatever, I had to deal with like a lot of like minor things, like business wise and stuff like that mainly. But you know, it has to get done. So, I mean, I'm happy I'm investing in myself and then, of course, showcasing like everything that I'm up, like my hard work and stuff. So, I'm, I'm just excited and happy. The prepping and like the consistency of like working out and cardio and stuff like that, that's pretty easy to me. The hardest thing is like getting things fixed. Cause that shit, I mean that, I mean I can't do that. You know what I mean? Like that's out of my control. Cause I mean I can't, like I don't know how to install a roof. I don't know how to like, you know, move, use a tractor. Yeah, like I don't, like the things that are out of my control, those are like the, the tedious things. Cause you have to trust somebody else. But I'm really excited to show you all my physique. Very excited. Honestly, today I was really thinking about it. I was like, oh. well, I was gonna do like a workout, but then I was like, you know what? Just, just do a full body or like a upper body pump and just showcase what you got. So I guess you could say this is like if I was going on stage and I'm just trying to get a big ass pump. Uh, after this cut, I'm probably gonna be maintaining my shreds all the way until January. Then I'm gonna be doing a lean bulk I definitely would recommend just honestly a, a better, sounds cheesy, but a healthier lifestyle. I mean, you don't really need to be like, oh, like, let me just look good for a certain period of time. Like, you could look good throughout the entire years. You just need to do the things that you're avoiding, kind of. So, most people are just kind of lazy and just don't want to do cardio or anything like that. But, I mean, Especially from where I live, Brownsville, I mean, just guys are so lazy. I mean, they look good in their upper body, like they definitely have a lot of muscle tone, but they're just surrounded by a lot of fat. And it's just cardio. It's just cardio. It's gonna be a B-roll or a, yeah, is that what it's called? Yeah. So cue the B-roll, <laughs> let's go. I've never felt this kind of mind muscle connection in a long time. Right now I've, I'm doing like full body. I've only been doing like one or two, no, honestly just one set. Um, not even heavy, just kind of like contracting the muscle. And every single body part that I do, I feel it absolutely insane. I'm probably just gonna do biceps. I'm gonna finish off on a chest movement and then I'm gonna pose.
Let's go pose. Alrighty, right before I pose, I'm just gonna max out on push-ups. I'm, I'm gonna try to impress y'all and get it 25 to 50 as fast as possible. Absolutely amazing. I'm gonna eat some more fruit and then I'm gonna do the same thing, just shirtless. kitchen everybody uh, this is gonna be a post meal from my 21 day shred I'm gonna be making tacos we braised some beef for about four hours with some carrots potatoes and onion um, I think it was Chuck roast beef and um, so now we're gonna make some tacos there's a lot of people in this house there's a lot of people that are hungry so let's get to cooking I've been braising this beef since 12 o'clock Okay, let me get a bowl. Yeah, this meat is gonna be very tender. So you would think that you'd shred it with some knives and stuff, but literally you could just go like that. And it's so tender that it just chops up with like the touch of a hand. And these are really good, like this dish is really good for like, if you're hosting a party. This is a very cheap cut of meat um, per pound. I mean, you could buy like, I think it was like eight pounds for like $8, I don't know. So it's like, yeah, yeah, of course. Of course, it's a very lean cut of meat. So it's not like you could, it's not like you could buy this beef and be like, yeah, let me make it right now in 30 minutes and make it good. Nice and shredded. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna get some a ladle and we're gonna spoon feed some juices on there just to make it a little juicy, right? Once we got that, gonna mix it again, okay. So we got our beef, we got our salt, pepper, now we're gonna need cheese and tortillas. Yay. I kind of like throwing the cheese on like this because it this is Oaxaca and um, it kind of adds like a crispy exterior. Mmm, so good and tasty.
All right, well that wraps up this 21 day shred. Uh, honestly, I tried my best. I'm very happy with the end product. Hopefully uh, all the angles and stuff came out really, really well on the camera. But now it's time for me to do a lean, lean bulk. Get very, very strong. So see you on the next one. <laughs>